Muscle Shoals. That was the hot spot. We were noted for the black music we cut, and people loved what we did. All kind of people were coming to make records in Muscle Shoals. Why? Because of the Muscle Shoals sound. Oh, I guess I have to put your flat feet on the ground. Rick Howell's first recording was with a black uh, bellhop from the Sheffield Hotel, Arthur Alexander, who wrote and sang, You Better Move On. I guess the first recording I did that was a hit in most of the shows may have been uh, You Better Move On, Alta Alexander. And he cut it actually in Muscle Shows, in a little old tobacco warehouse that housed at one of the first famed studios. What I learned from that experience was I, that record, I'd read Billboard occasionally, somebody have it in their office, and, uh, and I noticed a regional breakout on that record in Baltimore. And I, thought that was fascinating. Uh, we're southern guys and why, why there, you know, I don't know. But And then I would read things like, and hear things like the Beatles are covering that song and, and then then the author did Anna later on and they, I think they covered that song. The Rolling Stones covered the song. So I'm noticing as a youngster all these English bands picking on oh, what they're doing, what we're doing down here. And then uh, I was became more full time in the uh, next generation band, which was uh, Roger Hawkins on drums and David Hood on bass and uh, Jimmy Johnson on guitar. In '69, we started Muscle Show Sound, and uh, the musicians formed their own studio. Uh, which is Roger Berry, David, and myself. The Muscle Shows Rhythm Section and our Slash Swampers, you know. These players in Muscle Shows were all Caucasians. Now, uh, this, again, this seems to confound perceived wisdom and all the, the logic uh, of the music professors and the commentators. How could authentic soul music and blues come out of a situation like this because they are some bad funky white boys so ragged that folks used to call me patches. Papa used to tease me about it, cause deep down inside he was hurt cause he'd done all he could. He said, Patches, I'm depending on you, son, to pull the family through. We got presented two trophies that said, to the swampers, for the Leon Russell, you know, and so the Skinner boys were just coming in and seeing those records and they said, the swampers, oh. And they realized who it was. It was us. And so they said, and they started calling us that. They started, you know, calling us. They thought it was a cool name, you know. And so then they put it in their song, Sweet Home Alabama, that kind of immortalized us, you know. And uh, that was kind of exciting. But that's how it got started. Uh, the Skinner boys gave it to us. You remember what they said on that song? Now muscle shows the sky. A lot of people started saying, well, everybody here was a swamper. And we thought, heck, that's not a bad idea. You know, so we didn't, you know, we don't mind that that other people claim it. We all were from here. And, and all these people contributed, you know. So why should uh, that name be hogged, right? No band was actually playing out, making a living using that name. Our recording name has always been the most shows rhythm section. And so that's okay, you know, we'll share it.